Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Steezy A. Smith back in the building. You know what time it is. Today, we're getting introduced to the first episode of our new segment, Steezy Sleepers. So for all you fantasy footballers out there, this one's for you. Team Steezy, man. What up, what up, y'all? Hope you guys are having a beautiful evening. If you're new to this channel, please, if you haven't already, be sure to show some love. So hit that subscribe button, be sure to smash that like button, tell a friend to tell a friend, and last but not least, be sure to follow the extension of our YouTube on Instagram at Steezy A. Smith. Once again, our respective goals for YouTube uh, for subscribers are 1K and for Instagram now it's 600. So be sure to help us run that up. And without further ado, let's hop out into it, y'all. What is a Steezy Sleeper, you might ask? Well, a Steezy Sleeper is pretty much a player who's ranked outside of the top 10 heading into the week, but who I believe will eventually land in the top 10. And essentially every single week, we're gonna be dropping a Steezy Sleeper episode where we feature three fantasy football players, one quarterback, one running back, and one pass catcher. So either that's a, a receiver or a tight end, whoever I'm feeling really. So let's get right into it. So to give you guys a more in-depth look at what I'm looking at, I'm gonna give you guys a little showcase into my 10 team full point PPR ESPN fantasy football league. Here we go. The honor of the first Steezy sleeper is going to quarterback Teddy Bridgewater. I was scouring the waiver wire for Teddy Bridgewater, who I think will be a top 10 quarterback this week. Oh, here he is. Currently the 18th ranked quarterback in fantasy football, Teddy Bridgewater and the Carolina Panthers will be taking on the Atlanta Falcons this coming Thursday on Thursday Night Football. And Atlanta just so happens to feature the worst defense in all of fantasy football for opposing quarterbacks, for crying out loud. That defense is allowing quarterbacks to average 27.5 fantasy points through eight weeks, which is currently the most in the NFL fantasy-wise in ESPN Standard League. Look, let's run through the list real quick. Week one, Russell Wilson, 31.7 points. Week two, Dak Prescott with 39.8 points. Week three, Nick Foles and Mitch Trubisky combined for 28.8. Aaron Rodgers in week four, 29.5. Teddy Bridgewater himself with 20.8. Kirk Cousins, 23.7. And just last week, Matthew Stafford with 18.4. Teddy Bridgewater might have Christian McCaffrey back, but whether or not he gets him back, he's still facing one of the softest defenses in not just the NFL, but in fantasy football. Look, I, I get it. Teddy Bridgewater, he's a dink and dunk quarterback and his highest point performance this season has only been a 26 point performance as you can see here in week four against Arizona and in week five in Atlanta against the Atlanta Falcons he had a measly 20.8 which no disrespect to, to Teddy Bridgewater but compared to all the other quarterbacks in the National Football League 20.8 isn't all that much but being that this is a Thursday night football game being that every team is short on rest being that the Carolina Panthers are this close this close to having Christian McCaffrey come back, whether or not he comes back or not, I feel like his potential and imminent return is a boost to the rest of the Carolina Panthers. And being that they're three and four, going up against a team that's quite honestly the most disappointing team in the NFL, I think that the Carolina Panthers have a whole lot of motivation to get to 500. And hopefully if Christian McCaffrey doesn't come back this Thursday night, heading into a week nine showdown against the Kansas City Chiefs, they'll be sitting pretty at 500. So. If you're looking for a, a sleeper quarterback this week, I don't think you can do any better than Teddy Bridgewater, who I expect to have a season best performance this coming Thursday night. Now, moving over to the running back position, we got Boston Scott of the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's get him on the board at number two as a steezy sleeper. Now look, obviously I'm assuming that Miles Sanders isn't gonna play. And being that they're going up against the Dallas Cowboys, well, why should he play? Boston Scott put up about 18 fantasy points last week in a very crucial win against the New York Giants. And I actually started him in my lineup and it paid off dividends. He, although I lost, he put up about, look, 18 points, 12 carries, 46 receptions, and the game went a touchdown, three catches, 46 yards, and a receiving touchdown. I don't expect his role to change anytime soon. Going up against arguably, if the Atlanta Falcons aren't the worst defense in football, then the Dallas Cowboys are the worst defense in football. And Antonio Gibson and the rest of the Washington football team just ran all over this team to the tune of 208 rushing yards. That team absolutely dismantled the Dallas Cowboys, who I think have quite honestly given up on the season. This team is absolutely atrocious. And I understand they're dealing with a whole lot of injuries, but on defense, they still have names. Jalen Smith, Demarcus Lawrence, Leighton Vander Esch. Where are, where are these guys? 
nowhere to be found honestly if the washington football team is defeating you 25 to 3 i think this team has given up on their season the philadelphia eagles are still currently fighting for their season and being that they're in the driver's seat in the NFC at least, look for Boston Scott to take advantage of Miles Sanders' absence yet again and turn it into a workhorse, a workhorse load. If you're looking for a top 10, a sneaky play at, run, at the running back position, look no further than Boston Scott, who I think can not only replicate his 18-point performance from last week, he could more than maybe exceed 20 points. Who knows? We'll see. Look, I get it. The Philadelphia Eagles, they like to have, they like to run the running backs through a backfield by committee especially when their starter Miles Sanders isn't playing. But taking a look at the numbers, I think that even if he is to split time with, let's say, Corey Clement, he still he still provides enough value to be a top 10 fantasy running back. As I mentioned earlier, 12 carries for 46 rushing yards and three receptions for 46 receiving yards and a touchdown, which just so happened to be the game-winning touchdown against the measly New York Giants on Thursday Night Football last week. Now, for the pass casting portion of Steezy Sleepers of the Week, let's look no further than Tampa Bay's wide receiver Scotty Miller. Look, you might be looking at me like I'm crazy, but hold on now. Let me explain myself. Mike Evans, yes, he's there, but he hasn't been the same all year long. He's very, he's been very touchdown dependent, and in the games that he has gone off, Chris Godwin has been gone. And look, Chris Godwin, he's not gonna play this week. This moves Scotty Miller into a potential sneaky top 10 play at the wide receiver position, given that Tom Brady has already established some sort of chemistry with them. Look. Last week against the Las Vegas Raiders, six catches, 109 yards, and a touchdown. And that was with Chris Godwin in the lineup, and that was with Rob Gronkowski going off. Gronk went off. Chris Godwin went off. Nine catches, nine targets, 88 yards, and a touchdown. Mike Evans had two catches for, what, 37 yards? Look for Chris, Scotty Miller to provide a whole lot of sneaky upside at the wide receiver position, being that this is a, a primetime football game, Monday Night Football against the New York Giants, a week before AB is supposed to join the team, look for Tampa Bay to continue their ascent towards the number one seed in the NFC. Look for Scotty Miller to get involved. He's been a very reliable target of Tom Brady's. He's been a, a sleeper all year long. Nobody, he was overlooked going into the draft. And now that with Chris Godwin being out, with Antonio Brown not yet in the lineup, with Mike Evans struggling, look for Scotty Miller to have the best game of all Tampa Bay pass catchers on Monday Night Football against the New York Giants. So if you're looking for a sneaky upside play at wide receiver, look for Scotty Miller. You won't regret it. All right, y'all, so let's run it back real quick. Here are my three steezy sleepers of the week. Quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater. Running back Boston Scott and wide receiver Scotty Miller. If you're looking for up sneaky upside plays at each of those respective positions, look no further than the rest of those guys. I have a feeling that they're not only going to help me win my league, they'll help you win a few of your guys' leagues. Let me know in the comment section below. Am I tripping? Who are your fantasy sleepers for this week? If you have sleepers different than mine, let me know in the comment section below. Once again, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button as we'll be providing a steezy sleeper segment every single week where I help you guys with your fantasy football lineups each and every single week. Be on the lookout for that. That's going to be it for today, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed. Steezy out.